Hey guys, going into the final match, uh, we are 2-0 so far in a Battle for Zendikar draft with our uh, four-color colorless deck, um, which would be kind of nonsensical uh, a few years ago, but it makes sense now. I think this is actually a keep. It's kind of slow and plotting, but I think it's f okay. I mean, it's not an ideal hand, but it's probably going to be better than most sixes, even with a scry, so... I'll get a forest with Evolving Wild, since we know we are going to need um, at least one of them. Um, and, you know, two would be even better. Okay, and we got a second Swamp, which is good. Makes me feel even better about searching out a forest with our Evolving Wilds. Okay, good. No quick start, which could have punished us. Uh, so, yeah, we'll grab this forest. Wow, we're just getting all the high drops. Um, but this format's not a super fast one, and I mean we're two turns away from playing a silent skimmer who can slow our opponent down pretty effectively. He's got a three drop, and it is a dominator drone. So hey, another source of green. Um I think I play my fertile thicket now. And if I see a swamp, I probably grab it just for a gruel draws trigger later. Yeah, let's play it. Let's do it. Gives you information, if nothing else. And it's a mountain. Um, Putting out number, culling drone, and sure strike on the bottom. Not the most exciting cards, other than out number would have been pretty good. So, I don't think I'm going to reveal one. Um, I'd rather draw a not basic land in this, in this situation. Um, and we'll put... Outnumber farthest from the bottom, and then sure strike, culling drone, mountain, looming spires. Okay, end the turn there. So we can play Silent Skimmer next turn, which will block this guy pretty well. And then we have, uh, you know, Brood Monitor. Well, we have Shatter Skull Recruit into Brood Monitor, or Gruel Draws Overseer, which is pretty great uh, things to have. I always say Gruel Draws Overseer. I'm just too used to Ravnica. Okay. Um, so I think we play Swamp now, and we play Silent Skimmer. If it gets complete disregarded or something, it would kind of suck. What did he... Uh, man, one of our Nettle Drones? They've been, like, the key to victory <laughs> so far. It's not surprisingly. But we do have Brood Monitor this time. Brood Monitor plus Gruel Draws Overseer is pretty nice. Well, that's annoying. We're just going to take it. Yep. You go to 13. Hey, another Nettle Drone. Um, I think we probably play Shatter Skull Recruit here. So I'm probably going to... I think I'm going to swing. It's probably decently safe to do so. So I think it's better to play the Recruit. Like at this point, we want to be playing big things, not our Nettle Drone. Our Nettle Drone can come down late to help us finish the game. Um, but we'll play Shatter Skull Recruit for now. Next turn... Next turn, I'm not sure. Um, probably Brood Monitor. Ooh, something scary. Well, not that scary. Uh, except it's going to be massive because of... Uh, luckily, we can block it forever. Yeah, it's a 9-9. Nine -nine. Awesome. But we can block it forever, as I just said. Once we play our Brood Monitor... Um, so I think that is our play here. I think we swing in the air. I don't think we have a card in our deck that can deal with that massive dude right there. Um, so the best we can do is stall. I'm going to play this mount, the swamp rather. And I'm going to play brood monitor. So if we, next turn we can play uh, Gruel Draws Overseer and a Mountain. So like if he swings here, I think we feel pretty okay about that. Um, we chump block it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'd be pretty good. Don't tell me you're going to play the card that does one damage to all my creatures. Okay, good. You're just playing a Shatter Skull Recruit, which isn't awesome. Swing with that. Swing with that a of Spoiler. Okay. I like that decision um so we're gonna chump i 
Surprise, surprise. Ooh, Stone Fury can actually deal with that if we get to enough lands. And we could. So I'm going to play Gruul Draws Overseer. Ghoul Draws. Ghoul Draws. I need to, need to work on that. Um, we're going to play a Mountain. And I think here... We swing with our Menace Dude and our Flyer. So this will drop him to nine if he takes it. Um, seems pretty good. All right, he's going to double block there. I think we take down the fellow menace guy. Sure strike would be a beating right here. Outnumber. Okay, well, that's... Also pretty bad. All right. End our turn there. Two more lands and we can take down this despoiler, you guys. <laughs> Ugh. We do have Pilgrim's Eye, so that can get us one of them. So then we're just one land away from it. So that's pretty good, I think. We're going to have to chump here. And I would block Dominator Drone with Ghoul Draws if he swings with it. Okay. It's, well, he's, there's a good chance he has a trick, but I think it's worth blocking anyway. Um, make him use the trick. I mean, he can use his Blighted uh, thingy to kill our guy too, but our, our winning plan right now basically revolves around killing Ulamog's Despoiler and not much else. So if he kills this... Um, and we got to eat up a Blighted Gorge and a Dominator Drone. Uh, I feel pretty okay with that. Next turn, we'll play two more Chump Blockers. So, what, what, what? Ooh, that's... That's bad. Okay. All right. There's a Ruination Guide we can't cast, except that we will be able to cast it when we go like this. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye. Yes, please. Get ourselves an island. Um, and we need one more land, and then Stone Fury can deal with this problem of ours. Um, could play Ruination Guide and Nettle Drone if I sack the Scion, but I don't think it's worth it like at this point throwing bodies in front of this thing is super relevant he could use uh this to kill whatever it is we play right now um but i think we still play ruination guide here do we get in for two i don't think so i think we just want to chump until we can kill this thing and then find a way to win after that um we just can't afford to take nine from it i mean i guess i could afford it once maybe okay kill my ruination guide Maybe I do just take nine here. But neither of these creatures is exactly, like, you know, super valuable. So we're going to block there. Land. Aha! Land! How about that? I'm just going to go ahead and kill it now. The red and black don't have any way of saving it, do they? So maybe we can get him to do something. I guess playing Looming Spires could save it next turn, but we can play our Stone Fury in response. So I think that's fine. Let's count to make sure we have nine lands. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, we do. <clears throat> All right. We'll Stone Fury it. My God, we finally dealt with that thing. See what he has for us now. Okay, well, that's not great news. But I am glad I didn't elect to take a bunch of damage. Um, that means our uh, rolling whatever is going to be a good card to side in. The thing that does one damage to everything. Since he's running those. Um, 
Is he running anything else really vulnerable to it? Not particularly. So here I think I just take six. What we really want to do is draw one of our creatures who can just block this stuff all day. But I think we just take six, unfortunately. What now? Oh, okay. Not great news. We will ping our opponent for one. Okay, well, that'll let us kill one of them. Um, we'll hold on to our swamp, because why not? Bluff with that. But, uh, yeah, this is bad. Um, if he doesn't play a land here, yeah, he doesn't. So he doesn't have great attacks. Okay. I think the thing to do here is throw a Pilgrim's Eye in front of one of them and a Nettle Drone in front of the other. And then go Sure Strike on the Nettle Drone. So we end up taking one. So we go to four here, but we kill both of those dudes. No, you do another spell? What's wrong with you, man? We'll ping you. And we can do nothing but draw lands. All right. Well, we're going to have to block Culling Drone here. Don't really have a choice. Um, at least we can trade with it. But we have to draw a flyer or removal or a blocker. Oh, no, removal is basically the only thing that can save us at this point. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but we do have removal that can deal with that. And we have all the mana in the world to play with it, to play it. If he plays a second creature right now, I think we're 100% dead. And we drew out removal, but it's like the most useless removal in our deck. All right, well, we finally got beaten. Got mana flooded there, but it's also the mana flooding itself helped us win the game. But yeah, I think we bring in Boiling Earth. I think we do, and we probably cut another to cut our Valakut Invoker again. Um, Pathway Arrows. Mm, I don't. I think it's too clunky, even in this matchup. He did have a few flyers, but not enough for Plummet. We never played against the uh, Blue White Skies deck, which would have made our sideboarded Plummets pretty happy. All right, so let's see if we can win this game too here. We will play first. Uh, I think this is a keep. It's a sort of questionable one, as was our first one, but we have every color. We have a two drop. We have a removal spell. I think we keep it. I think I like it. Um, so, yeah, let's roll with this. All right, drawing a bunch of lands isn't really what we want to do, but at least that land means we can play Shatter Skull Recruit when we get there. And for now, we can play this, who is a very nice blocker, especially against those McKinney Majiggers. Nothing. Hey, well, it's another creature. Um, and we'll get... Hmm. I think I'll get the second green so that we know we can play Brood Monitor. So... I'm going to play Pilgrim's Eye, Pumpsar, Causal X Predator, or is that what you are? Sentinel. I will use its ability. Yeah, and I'll get the second forest. It's also useful when we have, um, what you call it, uh, the, brood the Brood Monitor and the um, Brood Butcher, because the Butcher's ability costs green. So, of course, we would need a second swamp to... Uh, Activate it. Opponent off to a slow start, but of course we drew all of our forests. Why not, you know? But our opponent's slow start may help us. We also have outnumber ready to go if he plays a threat. Um, although it can't deal with a whole lot right now. Look at all those basic lands. Four color, man. I'm pretty happy with the result of our four color deck. All right, on to champions. So we can't kill it immediately. But we'll be able to next turn. Ugh. Ugh. The lands we're drawn are killing me, man. It's kind of our problem in the last game, too. Just bad luck. I mean, our hand wasn't incredible, but it was like, you know, we've only drawn one spell since, since turn one, and it was a Pilgrim's Eye, which is basically a land with a body. So <laughs> we haven't really drawn anything incredible. All right. 
Well, that makes our outnumber not do what it would have done. And we will take this. Please don't give us a land. You didn't. Good job. Okay, and we can also kill that thing um, should the need arise. Uh, so we're going to play our Nettle Drone in main phase one because it pumps our Kozilek Sentinel. And then we will swing in for three. Yeah, three. And we'll end the turn. At this point, I would probably just take four and see if he plays something more concerning that I'd like to outnumber. I mean, there aren't that many things that only have three toughness that I can kill right now, but I don't think the four right now would be too scary. Uh, okay, he's using outnumber, so I think I'll use outnumber. I wonder if he has Rolling Thunder. That was kind of the, the card that did us in in the last game. My foil outnumber versus your uh, non-foil one. I wonder if he's thinking about using a second removal spell. I think I'd be okay with that. I mean, it's not as good as killing his guy, but it's still a two-for-one. Okay. Still a two-for-one. Um, you know, he had to use two spells. Uh, you know, it's better to get... Although Complete Disregard's a pretty strong spell, so hitting it is pretty good. Um, but... Removing a card from his board and uh, saving our guy would have been a little better. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Oh, yeah. That is that is a very good draw. Big Daddy Brood Monitor showing up to save the day with his brood in tow. That was a, that was a very strong top deck. Um, Crack in there, take him down to nine. See what he does. All right, Mind Raker. Not a big concern. It doesn't really alter the board state enough for me to like be freaking out about it. it makes me discard a forest, which doesn't worry me too much. All right. Ooh, there's another good draw. Though we don't have the black mana to regenerate it, but um, yeah, there's no point in playing it in main phase one. So we're just going to swing with Pilgrim's Eye for now. And then we'll play our Skitter Skin. So now we're drawing action, which is good in the late going here. Silent Skimmer. Okay. Well, now Skitter Skin's the only thing that's going to be attacking, but it can regenerate. Darn it. <laughs> All right. Well, he's now got the upper hand damage-wise because of his Silent Skimmer. And we drew a land, so not so good. So we will pass the turn there. Ugh. We need to stop bricking on our draws or we're going to be dead real soon. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that swamp a turn earlier would have been nice, but that de Deathless Behemoth would have shut us down eventually. What can, what can save us? Uh, not much. Ghoul, ghoul Draws, Ghoul Draws, Overseer would go a long way to doing so, I think. Yeah, I think we chump this with an Eldrazi Scion. Stop playing things, man. Man, he should have done that first. He would have had Trample. Oh my god. Okay, well, I think we lose. I mean, you can't, you know, our opponent, I mean, we did draw a Brood Monitor and a Skitter Skin back-to-back, -back, which was good, but drawing three lands when our opponent just keeps playing good creature after good creature is not good. Um, 
as I'm sure you're aware. All right, and retreat to Hagra is not going to help us much. Ouch. Okay, so what will he do here? Will he give a guy death touch? Probably not. Yeah, he'll drain me. That does make more sense, I think. Yeah, yeah, menace. Um, that's rough. I think we have to take damage from the menace guy. Block here, but I think I think we've all but lost this game. See, well. Yeah, we still lost. I mean, drawing that 100 turns ago might have been good, but not so much drawing it now. So, we'll play our skimmer. Yeah, if we'd had that a long time ago, actually, we would have been dealing damage every turn, man. But uh, it's not the case now. So, I may double block the Shatter Skull dude this time with Brood Monitor and Kozilex uh, Sentinel. Seems all right. Attacking. Okay. I'm going to declare a block on the silent skimmer just in case. Um, and then we're going to go like this. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did not block his deathless behemoth. So we're dead. I mean, I think we were dead anyway. I'll draw cards to see. But yeah, we just we didn't draw what we should have. And then I made, you know, that mistake at the end of the game. When a card's not tapped, I just overlooked it. So let's see what we were to draw on. Wow. I would have bought us some more time, theoretically. And yeah, I think we still would have lost. Too many lands in there. Although the Brood Butcher would have been nice, but don't think it would have done the job. All right. Well, after two pretty dominant rounds in round three, we got trounced. Um, our opponent had also a pretty interesting deck that, you know, he didn't quite get the... Black, red, colorless deck going and a little bit of ally stuff going on, just like we sort of ended up in four colors, even though we were primarily a black, red, colorless deck. So it was an interesting draft. It's definitely one of the more fun, diverse decks I've drafted in this format. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment.